There's some big news in the world of psychedelics. The FDA rejected MDMA-assisted psychotherapy for PTSD. This was a trial they once labelled as a breakthrough. The decision raises a big question in the psychedelic community. Will psychedelics ever get full approval for therapeutic use? Let's look at some of the main problems the FDA had with this trial and what this means for the future. One of the problems that they had with this trial was the double-blind design. Normally, this is considered a gold standard for clinical trials because neither the participant or the researcher know if they're getting the placebo or the real drug. But this is a problem with MDMA and other psychedelics because of their psychoactive effects, which makes it very obvious if they've been given the drug or the placebo. 90% of the participants in this trial guessed correctly if they were given MDMA or the placebo. Knowing they took MDMA could affect the participants' perception of the experience, and also how researchers interpret the results. To improve the design, some people suggested using an active placebo, which is a placebo that would mimic some of the effects of MDMA, which would make it less obvious to the participant which drug they were taking. Another problem was that the FDA traditionally only approves drugs, not therapy. Since the trial combined MDMA with psychotherapy, this caused a lot of confusion when it came to making a decision. This could shift the focus of psychedelic research and the clinical trials away from having psychedelics used with an assisted therapy. Despite this setback, the FDA didn't say that MDMA was actually dangerous, they just asked for more data. This feedback could actually help strengthen future studies, lead to better clarity and confidence in the therapeutic potential of psychedelics. Let us know what your thoughts are about this in the comments below. Follow for more updates on psychedelic research.